Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 8, Division 1, Subsection A, UG 29. How, stiffening rings helps, in increasing MAEWP, and the type of stiffeners. We have, all these courses available, on our Thinkific platform. To learn, more about these courses, register with the link given, in the description. Now, let us try to understand how this stiffener helps, you know, how the stiffener helps in taking care of the pressure or how it increases that pressure taking capability of that vessel. We know we have already introduced unsupported length of a vessel. So once we provide a stiffener, stiffeners acts as a line of support. Okay. It acts as a line of support. So it will divide the total unsupported length. If I'm placing it exactly in between, it will divide that total length L between two parts. So it will become L by 2 and L by 2. Once your L has been reduced, your L by D ratio okay, will go down. Right? If L is half, your L by D ratio also will become half. Okay. So D naught by T is still constant, but L by D, because it is in decreasing you see if this is my d naught by t just you know quick recap that how we calculate a so l by d is the red line d naught by t is the black line and whatever is the intersection once we move down we get the factor a value okay so by reducing l by d our ratio l by d decreases you no know? Once this ratio decreases, you can see that factor A value is going to the right direction. That means it is increasing. You know? Earlier, it was 0.4 times 0. We can call it as 2. 2 uh, 0.00022. .00 that was the value. Now it is 0.4 times 0, 4. So that is increase in value of factor A. Okay. With factor A, your factor B because ne next activity is to find the factor B, right? So once your factor A value is increasing, that will increase the factor B value also. We can see that in this graph. If the A factor, so vertical line is increasing, my B factor will also increase. Okay. So finally, my B value is increasing by introducing the stiffener. Okay. That is the concept. So if B is increasing, definitely my PA is directly linked to, to the factor B. So if B is increasing, PA value will also increase. So now there is other formula also. If it, if my, if I'm not able to find the B value, I can have, I can use the A value and this formula to calculate the PA value. Okay. So now we have understood how that adding stiffener is helping us in increasing the allowable by reducing the L by D. But now the next question is whether any stiffener will work as a, can be called as a stiffener? Can we call any stiffener as a line of support? Or I should have some checklist for that also. Okay, this is not a stiffener. This will not qualify. Right? We cannot call all the stiffener as a stiffener. It also needs to meet certain criteria to be qualified as a stiffener, as to act as a line of support. It should have a good strength. How we check that strength here? So before that, let us try to understand what are the types of stiffener. Okay. So we have ring type stiffener. We have I type or T type stiffener. This is T and inverted T. Angle type stiffener. 